Here are some other supporting functions you have in the business. Accounting, typically a very underappreciated discipline in any business, um, but it's very valuable if you have correct numbers and if you want to manage your business and your business units, if you are bigger, by numbers. Unfortunately, in Germany, we have this data thing and they develop themselves, but it's still like 10 years behind Xero, FreshBooks and QuickBooks. So what we did, we used Xero. I, I really love it. QuickBooks is also fine, FreshBooks also, but I started with Xero and I stick to it. It's doing a good, great job. Now we needed to create an export that is compatible with data. So we export from Xero into a data format to hand it over to our tax consult. What I'm saying, congratulations, if you are not in Germany, but if you have similar restrictions that you need to have, like keeping regulations and stick to that, make sure that the tool complies to it or you build something to make it comply. Otherwise, it will be a mess. I just also added sales tracking and um, sales management, which is typically this pipeline of deals that come in from your ads, your, your whatever channel you have. Outreach can also be the channel or SEO. When clients request something, it goes to your sales pipeline. And then your sales team needs to close that. I would always recommend having your sales pipeline management in your CRM system, which was one of um, those here. High level, Systemio, Active Campaign, HubSpot, or um, ClickFunnels. Um, they all have the sales pipeline built in, ClickFunnels in version two. Yeah, I would not use a separate tool. There is PipeDrive, which is kind of just sales tracking, but then you have additional complexity, and I always try to avoid that. Now, obviously, you have a lot of tools, and right, always just Take a tool when you know what you are going to do, right? Of course, you need a web tracking tool at your website. But besides that, you always want to add the other tools when the rest, the, the previous milestone was completed, right? You see them here in the right order. Then when you want to integrate tools, for example, um, a client checks out on your checkout software on your website. Then you can use Sapier, Make, or Power Automate and set a trigger, which means Client checked out on ThriveCard, if you use that, or Better Proposals. Create an invoice in Xero. Okay, or a client ordered um, my productized offer, create a new project in ClickUp and um, fill it with the tasks that are already in a template project, for example. Right. These are the things that you, that you can do to integrate data flow between all these tools. That's why you always want to have cloud applications that have a connector to one of these tools or better all of them. If you have silos of tools, like this data thing here, it doesn't talk to the world and it's so priority, it, it's hard to connect with anything. At least two years ago, it was like that. Um, then it's, you don't have any possibility of automation. So whenever you choose a tool, I would always evaluate if they have a connector to these platforms to automate data transfer and tasks between different tools. Yeah, then this is sourcing these three things, or this is HR basically. That's what the HR department uses um, for sourcing people, finding people, right? Having a job post and then looking if you find people that fit to this job post and want to apply, you can do it on all of these platforms. We use them all. Um, the difference between LinkedIn and the others, LinkedIn and Facebook and the others, is that Upwork, Fiverr, People Per Hour and Freelancer, they have also hiring built in. You can hire them right on the platform and you can pay them on the platform. So when you use Upwork, Fiverr, or People Per Hour or Freelancer, you don't need uh, the other two things for hiring and payroll because you can do, the, do it on the tools. To start with that, I would definitely recommend this. When you go more advanced and you build a huge talent pool and you have your own freelance um, community, then you can go with LinkedIn and Facebook because then you have them, 
yeah, of this platform. You don't pay these fees, but um, in the beginning, I would definitely not recommend it. It's too complex. It's really complex when you then have Lano, Deal or Hub stuff for creating and signing the contracts and managing the contracts. And here you have Wise or PayPal to pay them and they need to be integrated. So it adds a lot of complexity. I would avoid that in the beginning just to have peace of mind and focus on what really matters in your business, which in most cases is not the contracting part unless you have a really huge workforce. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to move to the next step, you can start with the resources I linked below this video. If you enjoyed this video, please like it below and share it. It will help to support this channel and create more helpful content for you regularly and make our digital work world a better place. Cheers and see you soon. Thank <music> you.